Hi everyone and uh, welcome back. So after looking into the API side for the restaurant listing, now we are coming back to the UI side and here we are going to write the actions reducers for our APIs and for our component. Okay, before going uh, directly there, I want to just uh, make you familiar with the Redux toolkit. And I will say like if you are a beginner for the Redux, we haven't explored much, then you should directly jump to the Redux toolkit and you should try this library first before trying Redux Tank, Redux Saga or any other uh, the libraries which has been created. I will cover uh, this topic separately, maybe in a separate playlist with some really nice example. But if you want to try this Swiggy clone application with the Redux toolkit for managing the state, then you can give it a try because that can be the, the learning for you. So I always face this challenge when I use NGRX in Angular, when I use Redux with React for the small projects. I always feel that it's a lot of boilerplate I, I end up writing. Now we are writing hooks and uh, like a lot of things has now simplified. We don't need to uh, write map state to props, map dispatch to props if you are writing a simple functional component. So a lot of boilerplate is now reduced. But if you want to actually write a clean implementation where you have, yeah, where you are using uh, the Redux Thumb, Redux Saga, all these libraries, then you can give this a particular try, uh, Redux Toolkit, okay? So this toolkit is providing the, the clean implementation of uh, whatever the Redux we currently see. It's nothing but it's like simplifications on the, the Redux framework, uh, which is independent, can be plugged in with Angular, React, or any other library. So what they have, what they were trying to simplify, I will just talk about it. Then we will just uh, go to our uh, Swiggy Cloud application and we will write in the same way we were doing. We are not going to implement, change the implementation right away, but I'm just going to give you the glimpse like what all has been changed. And this is something good, really good. Because earlier we were writing the actions, actions, then we are writing the uh, Redux Thunk dispatchers, multiple dispatchers, then going to the reducers, updating the store, all these things are happening. What if we see all these things combined which I already have seen in the Vuex. Vuex is a state management library for the Vuex.js where I'm writing only a single store and uh, the Vuex modules. In the Vuex modules, I have the mutations and actions together in a single file. I don't need to worry about writing the actions, writing the reducers, writing the store separately. Similarly, here I have created a store, right? Configure store and I'm just passing all the reducers I have in the system. And you can create a slice, okay, like I have created a counter slice and uh, this counter slice can give you the reducer which you can just directly pass while creating the store. So indirectly I just end up writing only two files and all the actions which you think on this particular counter slice, all these are written here, increment, decrement, increment amount and even this, this can also manage your async actions which you are managing using Redux Thunk or Redux Saga. Okay, this is increment, decrement, and increment by uh, amount. So this is nothing but at the reducer implementation. This is your initial state, and this is your whole reducer, which you are directly passing in the create store. Okay, so how we are writing is, and then what you need to do is you can use use selector, use dispatch. These are like uh, hooks already written. Use selector will help you to get the state object from the state tree. Use dispatch will help you to dispatch an action. And you can directly do the dispatch dot increment. Increment will directly handled by this. You are not writing actions. It's directly going to the reducers. That's good, right? So what we what we are doing is we are writing a configure store that accepts the reducers, right? And in the provider we are still passing the store. And here we are creating the Redux slice reducer with the uh, create slice. So there is a something new. You can say the create slice concept which is nothing but a, a indirect way of creating a reducer, right? And then we can use use selector and use dispatch in the functional component to do the same thing whatever was being done using map state to props and map dispatch to props. So this is the whole story of the Redux toolkit. We write configure store, we provide the store in the provider, we do the create slice, indirectly it is creating the store, we are passing that in the, the configure store. Right, configure store, we are passing the reducers here. 
and the same reducers we are passing in the while creating the store and here i mean we can also see this particular sandbox implementation it's the same example which we have discussed okay but this looks clean i think uh, i will say it and how to handle the async actions that is also defined so how to do it with the typescript and all that we will see later but this is something which you can explore here if you have multiple reducers just pass them earlier we were doing a combined reducers now there is a co configure store configure store is taking the store object and pass all the the store mapping so post state tree will uh, will capture all the state objects coming from the post reducer and this whole is creating a single state tree for us okay uh, that is redux type toolkit we may adopt this in future for now let's go to our code and see what is happening there so we have api action okay get restaurants and what is the api url we have we are going to pass so this implementation we have already written if you remember the api actions and the interceptors so here we are going to pass uh, the environment variable and environment variable here is process.env will create one new environment variable react app public and here we can see api url which is nothing but localhost port 88 and this we can use in our services to trigger the action okay and here we are going to hit api v1 restaurants right and whatever the data we are getting now we have to decide here are we going to trigger the success or are we going to trigger the failure right so we already have access to dispatch and here we can pass the payload which is having the type and payload which will be uh, the response dot data or we can directly get the data from there and we can pass the data so here the type will be uh, restaurant api constant dot success because we got the success while making this request we got the data we are now dispatching it otherwise we will dispatch the failure because we are inside a catch block so here we will call fetch restaurant failure I think this is failure and we'll just pass the error okay so what we will do is we'll write a reducers and we will write this implementation in in our coming videos so I mean you can give it a try simple is a reducer we will create a simple restaurant reducer right and intercept these two actions and update your state with the restaurant data we are getting and then using youth selector we should be able to get the state data okay uh, thanks everyone i don't want to create a lengthy video so i'm trying to keep these uh, as short as possible and i will also give you some assignment okay this is a, something which is very simple you, you can also try doing it by yourself